quite different. Clerical, 363. Custodial, 27. And manager, 84. So those are some big differences. And then the differences are also quite big. Once you break it down, when you look at the means across level, within each gender level, there's some pretty hefty sample size differences. And not only that, there are actually some pretty big standard deviation differences. So the homogeneity of variance assumption, which is um, applicable in the, in the Fox, uh, factorial ANOVA, is probably going to be violated here. And in the worst case scenario uh, is when you have unequal variances, you also have unequal sample sizes, and that's pretty bad. And then when your variances your larger variances tend to be with the smaller sample sizes. That's the even worse scenario. But if your variances, if your larger variances are associated with your larger sample sizes, uh, then you should feel confident interpreting the, the the statistical results of your analysis in terms of the alpha level, in terms of your p values. I'm not going to say a lot about that uh, in this uh, design. I'm going to talk more about in a future video about uh, the implications of unequal sample sizes and une unequal standard deviations. But what I, the, we'll do at least here is acknowledge that the sample sizes are different and the variances look different too. And in fact, in the next uh, Levine's test, we find the homogeneity of variance assumption is violated. Uh, so I cannot assume that my standard deviation slash variances are equal which uh, has problems with me having faith in the p-values that are going to be outputted on this. Now, I, I probably even went too far afield into these results. The first thing I should have done is to look at the plot, the profile plot. And this is where I said separate lines for gender and put uh, row level on the horizontal axis. Well, this is what the results look like. So male is uh, blue and female green, and we can see that males at least in numerical values are higher than females across all three levels. Now these are not real data to my knowledge. I took them from the, the sample data uh, in SPSS and then I kind of rejigged things to make sure that there in fact were females that were in the custodial role. <laughs> Excuse me, and then I reject a couple of other things just to make sure that the results in terms of the interaction came out the way I wanted to. But this is roughly probably in, in accordance with other previous research that males are in more than females and, and that may not be justifiable and there's a whole literature about that about um, that and about how the gap seems to be closing over time. Anyway, that's a whole other issue. I just want to look at the stats here. Uh, so the male means are higher, so it looks like there's going to be a main effect for gender. And then roles increase from clerical, custodial, and manager. So that looks like there's going to be a main effect for role, job category. Now the interaction uh, s looks, to me, looks like there's probably going to be a statistically significant interaction too because the magnitude of the difference between males and females at manager level seems so much bigger than it is at custodial and clerical. And that's what the interaction is testing. It's testing the possibility, it's testing the hypothesis that the magnitude of the difference between males and females is equal across all levels of job category. And it just doesn't look like that's the case. The magnitude of the difference looks a lot bigger at manager. Now let's test that statistically significantly. And we get that in the tests of between subjects effects. Now I've, uh, my assumption of homogeneity has been violated and I have unequal sample sizes. So I'm going to use p less than 0 0.0, I'm going to use 0 0.001 as my alpha level. That's just going to be my a, a way of dealing with this now. It's a relatively simple and uh, whether it's defensible or not, it's roughly defensible, I don't know. But I'm not going to use p equal 0 0.05 because I know that uh, that won't protect me from making type 1 errors. So I'm going to use 0 0.001 as my alpha level. And we can see in my test of between subjects effects that gender has an f value of 41.08 and it's less than 0 0.001. And in fact, I could find out exactly what it is if I double-clicked and increased the um, decimal levels. In fact, I could do that now, just to check it out. Cell properties, format value, and let's increase that to 6. Alright, so here are 
my p uh, my significance levels p values we can see gender f forty one point zero 